Well, it's hotter than uh, I don't know what out here today. But I thought I'd better do a little bit of work on this uh, DT250. I've got the engine sitting here, and it's been sitting here for quite a while. I've been working on other things. and uh, Anyway, I need to get the, I got my new rings and my new piston. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get the cylinder back on this thing. Get the engine back together and maybe get it mounted in the frame. I think I'm going to need a fan out here, though, because it's awful hot and there is no air circulation in this place. But let me show you. All right, so here it is. It's not all cleaned up or anything. But, I always have trouble getting the rings into the cylinder, so I bought this thing, and that goes on there and squeezes those rings together, hopefully, and then allows me to push them up into the cylinder. So first, we'll just put some oil around here. cylinder. We'll put some more oil. And on the other side. And all up and down the cylinder. <laughs> you just can't never have too much oil. Did that two negatives there? Or, I don't know. Can't never. You can't ever have too much oil. I think is what I meant to say. Miss Frank, my grade school teacher. I only had one all eight years. Would be upset with me using wrong English. I'm very sure of that. She passed a year, number of years ago, though. So, all right. just don't think it's going to work.
seems to be on. Get on there. All right, so let's get these little guys in. And I don't know what that is a 12 or 13. Let me see. What do I got here? 12. drill not a impact all right let's put the uh, Torque wrench on there. Torque goes down a little bit. And, and put the head on. We're all set up for 27. I want to take it not quite all the way. I had 
goes all the way down. I guess not. Huh. Is there one in there? Yeah, there's one in there. Let's try this one. Is that the wrong? That should work. What in the world is going on here? I should have a an extension over here. All right. Let's put that on there. That's down. That one's down. That one's down. Oh, what in the world? All right. Let's see what we can get to here. How about 20? There we go. How about 20 on this one? All right, how's about 20 on this one? All right, I'm going to go once more around and take it down to 27, and then we'll put the head on. Might be head time. What do you think? 13? is coming out, wouldn't you know. I need some uh, Loctite. I don't have any up here. I'm going to have to go get some Loctite. All right. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to kick you there. So we got some thread locker for that uh, one head stud thought it would rather be running free. So we'll take that guy out. Throw it through the exhaust valve. <laughs> down one side I think you know what I think they want you to cut that off that should do it nicely down okay that should work let's put this away See if I can get two thirteens and get that nut loose. It's another thirteen. No, oh, that's a half inch. That's it. Let's 
So we do this and this. Ouch! Let me take these loose. We want to wipe that up down there so that doesn't cause a channel to. Uh, Out my compression away. And I think that looks good. All right. Uh, let's get this back on. Better back on. Let me see. The point's supposed to be just like that. There we go. Now we're going to find the proper screws for that. All right, so we found some. These are twenties. Now we're gonna have to make sure they work. Flat washer. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait. Does it go? Spring washer. Flat washer. I only need three. I brought four. Well, I'm getting my exercise walking back and forth. I don't have any regular flat washers. All I got is these number six fender washer. There's that. All right, so I need to find two more fender washers and two more spring washers. I hate using these. Allen had screws in here, but That's all I got. <clears throat> Until I sit down and do an inventory of my screw boxes and see which ones I need to order. And apparently they're not even in the right slots. The one I had marked as a 20 was actually a 25. Boom. Sit down in there nice. Okay. I really need a higher stool. I guess that happened since I put that engine up on a stand. Not real happy with that stand, but it does allow me to rotate it around when I want to. Well, I decided to call it quits right there because I wanted to wait for that um, thread lock on the one uh, head stud there to set up good and tight before I went any further. And I had plenty of other things to do around the farm. So, I'll be back. Uh, we'll put the head on and uh, hopefully get all the covers back on it and uh, put it back in the frame. And then I'm going to push it up to the other building 
and put it up on the left and start putting all the wiring and all those other accessory things in it so we can uh, get it going. So hopefully within a week or two I'll have it all all together and running again. So we'll see you that next time.